And now we're going to pause this job. Why am I doing this is to show you exactly where most applicants go wrong. I'm going to show you exactly which mistakes to avoid and how to present yourself in the best light so you will get hired. Okay guys, so welcome to season one, episode two of how to get clients as a web designer. So last week in our first episode, someone left us a comment asking if we could show you how to get clients on marketplaces like Fiverr, Upwork and freelancers. So that's what we're going to cover today. Okay, so first let's consider Fiverr. So I personally would not advise using Fiverr for two main reasons. So if someone was to look for a web developer and run a search, basically immediately here on top what will come up first with the top rated seller so if you are new on fiverr you have no chances of ranking or even getting found and if you're not on the first page here well you can just forget it like you know all together but also mainly the main issue i'm finding with fiverr is that you cannot be proactive with fiverr you have to wait for customers to come to you so basically me as a customer i'm looking for a web developer i might click on your ad here on your gig and then i will might possibly purchase it you know so you have to wait for customers to come to you you cannot be proactive whereas freelancer and upwork will give you that option so on upwork is very easy for you as a web designer to advertise your services get found but most importantly like i mentioned to be proactive so if someone was to look for instance for web designer here okay so I would find a list, obviously, so I could contact you here. Perhaps this is something you're going to do. But most people, I believe, will find talent by posting a job. So we need something specific done. So let's say if we wanted a taxi booking website built for us with all the features. It's, if this is the case, I'm not going to go through all the profiles here one by one. I'll just post a job, in which case you become proactive and is the exact same on freelancer.com. So here I created a profile. I'm ready to post a job. Okay, so I'm looking for a web designer who can build a taxi booking system for me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put the name, the title, there it is, and then I'm going to put my full description. So I've prepared that already. So I'm just going to show you here, okay, what's in there. So basically, I'm going to be as specific as I can. So purpose here, there's a mistake. There you go. There's a typo. That's perfect. So basically here, I'm looking for someone who can build a taxi booking website and have all the features here. Okay. So I need to have point to point from airport to airport, hourly, round trip and option to add waypoints. So this would be a very conventional taxi booking system. Okay. Which by the way, we have a few tutorials on our channel. You can have a look. We'll leave that in the description below if you want to know how to, to build a taxi booking system. So here obviously we'll need a full payment system, uh, be notified when we receive a new order and also have all the orders recorded in the back end. And obviously we need three pages, home page, about us and contact page and you want the booking system in the hero section. So that's very specific. Okay. And now we're going to pause this job. Why am I doing this is to show you exactly where most applicants go wrong. So basically you as a professional web designer, I'm going to show you exactly which mistakes to avoid and how to present yourself in the best light so you will get hired. OK, so let's go through this. So I'm going to click next now. So as you can see, the skills are pre-populated here. So basically what we need is web design, HTML, graphic design, MySQL, PHP. That's fine. We keep that uh, as is, all the tags. So right here, we're going to select post a project and then pay fixed price because this is a one off project. OK, and now we need to set the budget. As you can see, you can select among all these options here. So let's say we're going to keep it broad enough, you know, between maybe 750 up to 3000 let's say okay so we're going to set the price manually so custom budget from we're going to start at maybe 750 right up to 3000 okay and let's see which offers we're going to receive okay so let's click next and then we don't need a recruiter we're just going to go from standard project which is most likely what most people will do okay and then next and that's basically it we're ready to post okay so let's go ahead with this Perfect. So let's close the message box. Okay, good news here. They've added a complimentary recruiter for us. So it's handy actually. This is, there it is, it's Camilla B. So let's get started. Okay, got it. And that's basically it. Now the proposals will start coming in, you know. There you go. So it's been only a few seconds and boom, I got a reply automatically here immediately with a, an offer and everything. I don't think they could have read my description and that's not possible. Look, this is live. I'm, I'm not uh, fast uh, forwarding or anything here. It's just receiving. Okay. 
And there you go. Uh, she's contacting me already. This is Camilla. I can close this. But anyways, look, I'm receiving all these offers here. It's not possible. They could not possibly have read my description. It's not possible. It would take you longer than that. And look, I got all these offers already. So to me, as a recruiter, none of these people, I'm not interested in any of them immediately. Uh, I'm going to just click this, hide bid. That's it. I'm not interested in them. And I'm just going to let it run for a minute, maybe a minute and a half. And anyone who offers a quote within two minutes could not possibly have considered my project and, and, consider, and, and, and thought it through and considered all the steps and what's involved. It's not possible, you know. So it's been about a minute now, to be honest, you know. So let's scroll down. As I can see, you have, all, you have four pages already, okay. So you remember we asked for a taxi booking website, okay? So let's read some of them here. So hi there, I'm available for video audio meeting right now. Please contact us, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure you'll be 100% satisfied. The most generic answer possible. This is a big no-no for me. I'm not even going to bother with them, you know. So there you have it. The first two mistakes. Mistake number one, replying too fast. If you reply too fast, you're clearly showing me that you haven't read my requirement. It's not possible, you know. Mistake number two is to provide a generic answer like this one here. Hey, we hope you are doing well. I have read your requirements. Yes, I'm sure you did. And I'm confident that we will deliver you the task. I am an expert software engineer with skills in PHP, blah, 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 blah. There's nothing in there related to my project. So this is too generic as well. So this is mistake number two. Okay, and now let me show you the exact formula that you should use in order to win over new customers and outsmart all the other bits. So instead of this answer here that he gave us, I'm going to show you exactly what you should say, okay? Are you ready? Okay, guys, so this is exactly what you're going to say, okay? We have worked out a quote for your project. Please find the itemized tasks for your project with complete budget and lead time. So this basically is going to send a very strong message that you actually read the description of the job and considered exactly how much work is involved in doing so okay so this to me puts you in the lead in the top top 10 immediately okay and then once i start reading this as you can see day one you're going to install wordpress all the essential plugins uh, in, import the demo content and install quick cap plugin so as you can see i can see that you you are going to use a dedicated taxi booking system for wordpress okay so this is good very happy with that day two you're going to configure the system and uh, link google maps api very good day three you're going to design the home page insert the booking form and create the other pages with a contact form as well therefore you're going to configure the woocommerce taxi so here basically if i read through this i know that you know exactly what you're doing and you can actually achieve and develop a website exactly the way i need it and as you can see here, we charge 500 euros per day, total cost because we have five days here, total cost for this project, 2,500 euros. And here's the price, okay? So this is justified. Now, I know I didn't plug this out of thin air for no reason, 2,500, 3,000 or 2,750, whatever. There is justified. Why are you charging 2,500? I know exactly because it, it takes five days work. You charge 500 per day. That makes sense. And then after you say we offer revisions until you are satisfied with the work provided, we are ready to start on your project immediately. And thanks for your time considering our offer. There you go. That's basically it. Now, let me tell you something, guys. With this formula here, you are guaranteed to get new clients. There is no way someone is going to ignore such a reply. You'll be straight up in the top three of the people that consider hiring for the job. I know it's going to take you more time and effort to reply to those projects. But what would you rather do? Reply to 100 jobs and get nothing in return, so wasting your time basically, or spend maybe five, 10 minutes working out on every details of your reply and, and provide a detailed quote and get the job almost every time. To be honest, as a recruiter, if I read such a reply, you're almost guaranteed to get the job, you know? So there you go, guys. This is my personal tip on how to get work on platforms such as Upwork and Freelancer. Now, don't forget to subscribe for more of these practical tips.